Uh, okay then. Hey, g'day everyone, my name is Fancy Felix and I'm glad you're here because today we are having a look at a little game called Boppin'. And I'm gonna spare you the long and, uh, you know, overly complicated nature of the story, but I am gonna show you this because this page is interesting to me. Not many games show you a manifesto when you boot them up, but the accursed toys do. And I found it kind of fascinating. We recognize that over 60% of all computer and cartridge game players are well over the age of 25. Perhaps not anymore these days. It is to this larger and more sophisticated audience that we dedicate our art. Adult Games for Adult Minds is our second motto. After Determined to Disturb, we know that art is powerless unless it both thrills and upsets. And we do see our work as art. We will ever endeavor to do both in an intellectually exciting and unsettling manner. We shall make it our duty to create complete and powerful works that have both playability and artistic integrity. We hope to please and shock, pleasure and surprise you. Wow. So there you go. Very early uh, submission to the uh, games are art. Games as art argument that people are getting all tied up around these days. If you know what I'm talking about, if not, disregard. And uh, let's continue here. So, the game, Boppin'. Uh, I don't have many memories of this one personally. As a little kid, I played it a few times and I never could figure out what on earth I was doing at all. So it frustrated me despite the fact that I wanted to love it because it's so colorful and cute and pretty. So basically the story is, all the evil video game monsters have been stolen from all the arcade machines. And uh, this is a very, very tragic and uh, complicated situation that actually needs to be rectified. It's no good with no monsters because with no monsters, there are no heroes to go and beat the monsters. So the object of the game, ah, uh, see, here we go. Here's some video game mascots. We've got Pac-Man, Jerome the Galactic Hero, Victor Vector, Blub and Blub, the playful plesiosaurs, Gynandria, the generic elf, Gynandria, I don't know, and Pete Pixelhead are examples of the heroes that are upset about the lack of monsters in the games, because they have nothing to go up and, uh, you know, beat up on. So the object of the game is you have to go and basically rescue all the monsters that have been captured by this evil rabbit called Honey Buns, I think. If you look at the top there, I think that's him. I, I don't know. But the upshot of all this is, basically, you gotta solve some block puzzles. Some block matching puzzle goodness. And here we go. Basically, you get dumped in a level like this. They give you a uh, gem or object of some other description and you have to match it with the other ones. Now as a kid, the reason why I never figured this out, uh, I think it was because I didn't realize you could walk off the edge of the screen and come out the other side. You'd think I would have worked that out, but the more I do these retrospective uh, looks at old games, I'm starting to become concerned for my, for my intelligence as a child. But hey, what are you going to do? So you walk up, carry this thing over here, hold space, space is like the uh, action button, choose a direction where you want to throw this thing, and let go. Whoa, there you go, a little monster is free. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now I'm getting another block, this is uh, a flower of some sort. Uh, now you don't have to place the objects directly onto the other objects to match them. You can bounce them off the walls like, alright, you're not going to let me show up now that I've said that. Oh wait, maybe you will. 
Oh god, no. I've destroyed the flower. I'll demonstrate that in a sec. But here we go. Let's match all the damn gems. Give me the gems, give me the gems. Alright. See, if you do this, bounces around. And if you're clever about it, you can use that to match stuff up. But it's, you know, not very easy to figure out. And I've just made my life a lot harder by doing that. No, don't cry, buddy. Mr. Triangle Head. I forget your name already. It was Vito or something. Isn't that a, like a hair care product? I don't know. Vite. Uh, okay. How am I going to get you to touch you? Uh, I was never good at this. Oh my god. And see, every time I fail, my life runs out. I think I get five attempts. And then it's all over. And, uh... Wait, why didn't I just do this? I don't know. Oh, no, you can't just place it above it. Alright. Come on. Yeah, that's how it's done. Level one complete. And there's my summary here. 2,545 points. And I saved a evil Pegasus? I don't know. Alright, what's the deal with this one? A blue block. Uh, can I chuck it in? Nope. Alright, so these... What do we got? Oh my god, what is that? I don't know, but we rescued it. I guess that's good. These things push the blocks. If you... Yeah, alright. What a little robot man. And these elevators I can just use with the up and down arrow keys. Come on, match the blocks. Another little robot. Run out of ideas already, huh? Okay. Well, this is pretty... Pretty straightforward stuff. Oh god, another tentacle monster. <laughs> Alright, what are we doing with here? Looks like the objects in this one are harps, goblets, and uh, balls and cubes. Um, what do I do? Ooh. Okay, these things give you extra points. Um, maybe I can just throw it. Alright, so the pillars are... Alright, got... Continues. The pillars are transparent or... Whatever the word is. I can chuck stuff through them. You know what I'm saying. Okay, uh, let's focus here, because... Hmm, how am I gonna get that monkey head to touch that monkey head? No, you're supposed to bounce! When I say bounce... You bounce. Alright. Get them goblets to touch the other goblets. Now we can get the cube. I think that looks... What? You touched... Oh my god, come on, stop bouncing. Can I catch it again? Alright, alright, don't get impatient. Maybe if I throw it from... So I threw it from there before, we'll try here. Okay. Simple enough. Ugh. So yeah, this is pretty... Oh, I can walk in here, alright. Uh... God, I am amazed by my own... Never mind. <laughs> Alright, what's this? Some kind of gelatinous cube. Simple enough. Match the stuff. As always, things don't change. I don't need to tell you what I'm doing here, do I? Come on, Vite. 
All right, come on, come back here. What is this, a honeycomb segment? Come on, no, thank you. Doll proceeds to do the exact same thing. I'm sure this is going to get well, way more elaborate as time goes on. Oh, perfect. Perfect. You see that? I am the master of bopping. I don't know why it's called bopping either. I haven't really discussed that. I think for some reason when you mash stuff together and it disappears, that's what they call bopping in this universe. Oh, I saved the, the cube. I'm free. The cube is free. We can all rest easy tonight. Oh, what do we raise? Oh, we saved another cube. Actually, it's a cube that's kind of flashing and also a sphere, so... Uh, I just wanted to clear that up. Level complete. I saved the two cubes. Alright. They must be enemies from some video game I don't know of. And this is pretty sweet. This one is all sushi. Oops. Okay, I don't know how I even did that. Let's match, match up the... What is this, a salmon sushi or something? Uh, Alright. This looks like... Look, I'm no expert in Japanese food, culture, sushi. I'm just going to call that an ice cream cone sushi. Well, this one is like salmon sushi with a bit of avocado in it. Alright, what's this? I I don't even know what this is. Looks like an inside out sushi. And this one just looks like a plain sushi roll. Oh no! Just disappeared off into the ether. Alright, try here. Hooray! Try ice cream sushi. Yeah. Inside out sushi. No, here. Yeah. Plain sushi. Yeah. Oh, I saved a our face. I saved the face, everyone. Oh, all right. Oh, sweet. I got totally bonus points from that piece of stuff. Probably jade or, or emerald. And that's how it's done. Yeah, saved one face. Oh my god, what is this? It's like a, a level made of blueprint. Blueprints. Oh, it's even like got the instructions. So bop this. Okay, so the numbers indicate what you're holding. Alrighty then. Oops. Two, so I gotta match the two with the twos. Uh, try this. Gosh, damn it! What do the S's mean? All right. Anyway, oh, I've done this the complete opposite way. I throw the twos on the ones and the ones on the twos. Don't do what I did. Also, ah, oh, I can call elevators too. That's very important. So if I do this here, it should work. Sweet. Now, how do I get a 1 over there? Uh, yeah. Try another 2. This is a really cool idea for a level, by the way. I love it. Totally haven't ever seen anything like this in a game before. Not quite, at least. Alright, I can just chuck that over. Mm, yes, yes I can. This has mostly solved itself. Uh, yes, that goes there. Give me another two and we are totally done here. Blueprint, blueprint, yeah, sorry, forgot how to speak. Blueprint level complete. 
And hey, I think you've got the idea of what this game is about. It's pretty cool, actually. I like it. Very appealing. Pretty basic, simple. Simple to understand. I, I could imagine it would be really difficult to get perfect scores on all these levels. But uh, that would be a good, good challenge. Stop tapping your foot at me. Triangle head bastard. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, check this one out if you like. I would recommend it. I recommend everything I do, really. Every game I look at, I'm only looking at because I'm interested in it. <sighs> I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. This was a lot of fun. A lot of fun.